and angel fly within my life beside me in all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for August 22nd through to the 28th. I'm going to be using Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels cards this week, so let's see what they have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. Alright, here's the card. Okay, so here's the card. Oh, Archangel Michael. Beautiful. He is the only Archangel in this deck, and I always love to uh, feel his presence through this, this deck. It's very special, and uh, he is extra, extra present with us on the earth. The Archangels love to help us, but there's no... No other Archangel that wants to help us more than Ma uh, Michael. He is very, very strong. He's very, very powerful. He wants to remind us that he is with us every step of our journey and to help us to feel that sense of empowerment right now rather than feeling like life is just happening to us or feeling like we've, you know, we don't have control over things. Of course, you know, we're co-creating our lives with God and the angels. And so sometimes things don't always make sense. But even in the big mystery of things, and even when things are really challenging, we have a choice about what we do with that. We have a choice about whether it squashes us or helps us to grow and learn. And he's just wanting us to know to remember our strength and to make decisions from a place of knowing that we are always provided for, we are always supported and we are always loved by him and by all of the angels. So if you're finding yourself in victim mode, if you're getting stuck in what you can't do, what you haven't done, all of that stuff, just breathe it out and know that Michael is helping you and wanting you to see the best in you. It's not a case of whether the angels do, they always do, but they're waiting for us to say yes to the best for ourselves. All right, so I don't know where that came from. Well, I do, it's Michael, but that was a very powerful message there. All right, so here we go. Ah, oh, playfulness, yay! That might mean that we get to lighten up for a while. Ooh, ooh that's exciting. So the angels are reminding us of the put importance of having fun, of being light-hearted, of doing something just for the sake of having fun. I think many of us can take life very seriously and there's lots of reasons why we do that and it's very understandable and yet if we don't have that balance of playtime it can all be a bit too heavy can't it so please in the middle of the week if you can schedule some time either on your own having fun or with others I have to say it feels to me like they, they don't want us to isolate ourselves uh, in the middle of the week it's, it feels like a team effort so please plan some fun with your friends if you can be spontaneous in that even better and just know that actually when we allow ourselves to be playful and fun we feel more inspired our energy is lifted and therefore all the other things that we feel are our responsibilities are much more easily done because we're coming from that place of lightness and flow of energy so drop the guilt and have some fun and the last card ooh beautiful ideas and inspiration this is a beautiful card and again it follows on really from midweek just allowing those new inspirations to come through either by you know having that fun time or just being still the um the weekend will offer us they say an opportunity to be clear about the things that we haven't been clear about in the last week or so and really feeling an energy lift because we talked about the last week or so being pretty intense so I feel like they're just wanting to remind us like Michael said at the beginning to to raise our um, vibration through fun through play as much as we can so that all of that new energy can come through us this is not a time to um, 
you know, kind of dwell on the things that are feeling intense, but rather use them to propel us forward. So um, the, the angels are saying, it's like reminding them, reminding you, just like we said at, at the beginning with Michael, that they are right with us. They are here. It isn't... Um, you know, just a case of us saying, oh, well, I might have an angel, I might have some guidance, or I might be um, receiving a message. The angels are always with us and always talking to us. So rather than um, being in doubt mode, spend some time really listening to what you're receiving, either through those repetitive feelings that you're getting. What is your intuition telling you right now? It's the same voice. That is the voice of your angels. What visions are you receiving? What are you thinking of when you first wake up in the morning or when you uh, go to bed at night? Because often that is when the veil is thinnest uh, between us and them and because our mind is out of the way because we're in that sleepy state it can be a brilliant time to receive guidance so if you can maybe keep a little pen and paper by your bed or you know do what I do sometimes which is quickly write a little message to yourself on your phone so that you don't forget it because what can happen is that we'll get this really great idea or we'll feel really um inspired or really touched by something and then you know an hour or so later we either doubt it or completely forget it so if you are in doubt though remember that if it's really right for you if this idea this um piece of action that they like you to take um you know is is divine then it will come back to you you're not going to miss out on anything so just bear that in mind as you go out go through your week definitely call on Archangel Michael to help you to feel that sense of support and um, you know we are more loved than we could imagine and so when we're feeling a little bit uninspired what we are really saying is that we don't feel connected to who we truly are because the truth of us is that we are constantly connected to an infinite stream of divine love and wisdom and I like to think of it sometimes as little boulders, boulders in the stream or boulders in the, in the, in the, you know, stream of water that's flowing through and sometimes we have to be consciously aware of them what they are and then move them away so that we can make progress in the direction of our hearts of our souls of our magnificence so sending you much love from me and the angels uh, go for it go for it trust yourself trust the ideas that are flowing flowing through for you wow that's a bit of a tongue tongue twister and uh, remember that when you lighten up, when you choose to have a good time, when you do things that make you smile and make you laugh, then you're raising the, your vibration and raising the vibration of those around you. So it's a win-win. Much love, everyone. Speak to you again soon.